Hey everyone, we're back with another rotational Let's Play with Sims 4, and if you've been following this series, we are playing the famous Broke family, Brandy and her children. Um, we have Dustin Broke, Bo Broke, Connor Broke, and then she just had a new baby boy, Sean. So before we jump into this um, episode, there's a lot that's going to happen. I would love if you could hit the subscribe button if you haven't already because I have a goal to reach 500 and we're getting close. But the uh, Broke family is just a classic and I'm so excited for this episode for you to see what's going to happen. And I do all kinds of Sims 4 and Sims 2 content, so if you are interested in either of those, I would love to have you um, follow along and subscribe to this channel. So let's get started, and let me just tell you about what happened the last time. Um, Brandy here is in a relationship with Peter Simmons, um, and Peter is a detective. They are engaged, he did propose, and she had a baby with Peter, um, who is Sean. So we need to change Sean's last name, actually. But uh, she became pregnant and had the baby before I realized that we could change the, um, or we could pause her pregnancy with MC Command Center. But now that I know that we can pause pregnancies, um, I will be doing that from now on. So you'll see she lives in this very rundown home with her uh, children and Dustin is an adult and he is in the business he's actually doing pretty well um, and so yeah he um, he's kind of doing well for himself and he's kind of ready to get out of this house so one thing that's gonna happen here in this episode is Dustin's gonna move out because Brandy's gonna get married to Peter and Peter's going to move in but the thing with Peter is he has lots of children as well. He is a single dad. And he lives with his father. Um, so we have the father um, that might come with them. And then also the uh, other children. So lots of kids to move into this house. Um, it's going to be interesting. So... We're going to have to move some people out because right now there's too many to have here. So that's why I think Dustin is going to move out. And I might actually have him just go ahead and find his own place. Um, because he uh, he's ready to go. And I need I will put him basically into the rotation and we will play him. Um in the next, you know, in a, in a round coming up. And we will see where his life takes him. So, <clears throat> I know he has some things in the inventory, though, that he's gotten from work. So, I'm going to see if I can put these in... I don't know if I can put these in his regular inventory. I would love for him to take these things with him. Um... But I don't know if he can. So we're going to try that first. To see if these things can go in his inventory. It does not look like they can. So. What I might do is. See if we could give them to him as a gift. Once he moves out. We may be able to gift them to him. Um, but we'll just go ahead and have him find his own place. So let's see if we can do that. Split from household and move. And he will take his computer and his guitar. And like I said, we will play with him in, in a future rotation. Um, we're not going to be talking like a pirate today. And... He... Uh, did he is that not going to work okay i think i'm gonna have to go out into into the managed worlds and move him out so you're back 
Okay, so what I ended up doing is actually having Bo move out with Dustin. Um, so, you know, Dustin was getting ready to pack his bags and leave. And Bo was like, please take me with you. I don't want to stay here with all of these kids. Um, I don't like this new guy. Please take me with you. So they have left um, and are now going to live on their own. And we will check in with them as um, we do another uh, rotation. So, Brandy here is now, oh dear, she wants to be, okay, this little kid needs to wake up, and she's, you know, she's just got the two little ones here now, and she wants to get the house ready for, ready for Peter and the kids to move in. Um, so, she's going to go ahead and serve a big breakfast of pancakes. Oh, and also it's important to note that when Dustin left, he took money with him. He took about $4,000 with him, which was all of the money he'd been saving from his job. And now poor Brandy is on her own, hoping that Peter will bring some money when he comes in and um, can help support her. So as of right now, um, this is the only bed situation we have. I think Peter might have a few, I think he has four kids. So what we might need to do is get another bunk bed situation. Um, so let's just go ahead and do that. Let's say, you know, we don't have enough money though, do we? We do not. Okay, never mind. We might just have to wait for him to move in before we can do anything. <laughs> So let's get the day going. She's going to make some pancakes and she's feeling a little tired, but that's okay. Poor Connor needs to wake up. Um, he's left here as the only broke boy um, left here in the house. And this house is disgusting. <laughs> oh, there's the laundry hamper. I was wondering where, where it was. Um, he needs to use the bathroom and grab some pancakes for the day. Um, Brandy really wants to get this house cleaned up, but I just don't know exactly what she's going to do. Maybe we could put a fresh coat of paint on the cabinets. Um, but I don't even know if she has enough money to do that. Um... I think these are the cabinets. Yeah. Let's see if we even have enough money. These are 100 and these are 150. So I don't think even if we sold them, we would have enough money to buy the nicer ones. Oh dear. Well, we might just have to have Peter come move in so we can have enough money, to be honest. Like, she could at least pick up the laundry. So let's do that. We'll take all the laundry to the hamper and get all that cleaned up. Um, it looks like it's spring now and, oh, tomorrow is egg day. So we will put up some decorations for egg day. We can get that going. I think we should say that Dustin took the car with him. We could get rid of this car, even though it doesn't cost any money. I would say that he probably definitely took that with him. <clears throat> Alright, so she's got the laundry cleaned up. Um, let's draw... Oh, we should probably clean the lunch tray so it doesn't catch on fire. We can dry that laundry. She fixed up the dollhouse. Is there anything else that we could possibly clean up? I think it's all looking good. All the beds are made. Um, and we can clean up this dish. We've got pancakes made for everyone. So I think what she's going to do is go take a little rest. Um, and wait for Peter and the kids to get here. Okay, Peter and the gang are all here, and oh my goodness, um, he has four children. This is absolutely a yours, mine, and ours situation. Very full house, very full small house. Um, we're going to have Peter, 
he's going to pay the bills really quick and then go to work because he's he has to work today. It's Saturday. Um, so that's what he's going to do. And he's just basically brought all the kids and left them with Brandy. So we have Vanessa, um, who is a teen. Um, Vanessa is academic. She is a loner, a quick learner, a genius, and she has the sage personality. Um, it looks like she does not like media production. Um, we have Tony, who is also a teen. He's a goofball, a quick learner, clumsy, and a nerd brain. So these are some smart kids. We've got Marie, who is a genius. Again, another smart kid. And we have Tina, who is the youngest, and she is a goofball. So we have three girls and one boy. So this is now going to be one, two, three, four, five, six kids. And we have two bedrooms. Now, he did bring um, $15,000 with him from his savings. So I think Brandy is going to work on creating this house into a home for these kids and using what they have. I don't see them moving just yet, maybe in the future. But I think right now what Brandy is going to focus on is making this house into a home for all these children. Um, so I'm going to go off camera right now and do that. And then we will come back and jump in and play with them. They, um, we will, we will be playing with them until, sure, she can like mischief, until Wednesday. So I will be back. Okay, we're back, and I want to give you a quick little um, update. I've done a lot to the house, and what I decided to do was to change the um, living room into another bedroom. So we basically put up another door, and um, we're going to lock this portrait here. But the girls have their room, and the boys have a room, and when this young boy grows up, he will move into this room with the other boys. So basically, you come in here, um, we knocked a wall down to create a bigger entryway. She went ahead and scrubbed all the walls and got them clean and got a new table so that most people can sit here. All of the cabinets got a new um, fresh coat of paint and we got an upgrade um, up on the appliances as well, on the fridge and the stove at least. And then the bathroom, we didn't get much here except for some decor items and some new cabinets so that's all that happened here and then the um, living room is now the girls bedroom so we have three beds for them and they've brought some of their things with them and then the boys bedroom we did get a better bed for Tony so Tony will sleep in here now and then um, Brandy and Peter will have a new bed as well. Um, they've got some more things. All the carpets got cleaned. Um, so that is looking better. And so, yeah, I think this is going to work out. It's not a huge house. They have no living room, but they all have their own space. And I think that's what's most important here. Um, so we will continue playing with him. So I'm actually really excited for this, for Brandy. I think this is just the cutest thing. And I'm so happy that she's got all of these children now to take care of. I think this is exactly what she would have wanted. Um, however, uh, it's Saturday and I'm going to say that, you know, she's still getting things done around the house. So I'm going to send the kids over to this playground. Um that is nearby so it's actually oh no it's raining okay well maybe we're not going to do that then um, I was going to have them go over here and get to know each other but it doesn't look like that's going to be happening um, so until the rain stops I guess we'll just hang out here at home and get to know the kids a little bit we can have Tony and Connor get to know each other a little bit more. He can ask him about school, um, get to know him, and um, keep looking for your toy, my dear. I'm sure it'll turn up. 
And it looks like Vanessa here. Let's see if she has any relationships um, with her siblings and her dad. This is her grandfather. He did not move in with them, um, but that's okay. And, okay, nothing really going on here. I know that one of the girls was not happy about the new sibling, um, so that's cute. But we could have Brandy get to know the girls a little bit. You know, she's never had girls before, um, so this is definitely something that she's always wanted, so she can kind of get to know them a little bit. And she's so excited to have some girls in her life. It looks like Marie is in here having some pancakes. Um, they're all kind of hanging out in the boys' room, but that's fine. Oh, it's because there's music in here. I wonder if we could get the girls a little TV. I might do that really quick. Okay, I gave the girls a TV in their room and some bubbles and some clay and um, a few toys like a doll and all that stuff so they do have like some things over here that they may um, be working on but I wanted them to just have something to do so that's what we're doing here um, it looks like Tony is doing his homework he's such a good kid I think all of these kids are pretty good kids unlike Brandy's children in the past. Um, Brandy dear, that's not your bed. I don't want you napping there. It's going to also be interesting to see how they do with having only one bathroom. Um, so we shall see. Poor Connor. He wants to adopt a cat. I don't think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't think we can even have any more kids in here to be honest or any more like family members. It looks like the rain has stopped, so let's have him and the girls come play over here. And let's see if the teens can just come over here and hang out as well. Okay, so the kids are over here playing, and it looks like um, Peter is home. So, oh, he's sitting here with his daughter. Maybe he can ask her um, how the day went with Brandy. Um, we'll ask him how it, how it went. He wants to be a super parent. He is cheerful, bro, self-assured, domestic. Oh, he's such a good little dad. Um, Brandy, you need to get up and make dinner, please. So, she is going to serve, um, let's do tonight for dinner, um, she could maybe just make some spaghetti. Let's just make some spaghetti and see how that goes for everybody. Um, we'll have the kids come home. Because it's getting late and it's almost dinner time. And it looks like she wants to be alone and listen to Japanese folk music. Um, well, maybe she could come relax on her bed because the girls are not home right now. So she could just come sit here for a little bit. Um, and Peter will chat with Brandy while she cooks dinner. And see how everything is going. Um, you know, think uh, it looks so nice. The house looks so good. You did a, such a good job cleaning it up. She's like, thank you so much. Um, he's going to help out with the laundry. I think he would probably help out a little bit. And then, oh, it's prom. I was not prepared for this. And I didn't use my little cheat. Um, honestly, I don't want to do that right now, so I'm going to skip it. <laughs> Hope that's okay. Okay, so spaghetti's done. Brandy's going to um, call everyone to dinner. Oh, they're kissing. 
It looks like Vanessa just helped herself um, to something else. Oh, she's going to put it back. Okay. They're all going to come grab some spaghetti. Hopefully they all sit at the table. And we can have a nice little family dinner here together. Where is Connor? Like, this kid is just like... Why don't you come home, dude? Everybody's eating without you. Oh, no. There's no room for Connor. He's going to be like... Oh, this is terrible. Talk about getting a new family, Brandy. A brand new family. You're leaving your poor kids out of the picture. He's going to feel awful about this. Maybe they'll get up before he even gets home. He got left at the park. He's getting left out of dinner. What a terrible experience. Um, maybe she's going to ask her to help cook or help clean up after dinner and see how that goes over. <clears throat> it looks like... Why are we getting money from... We're getting money from something. I'm not sure what that's from. Um, so she's going to ask her to help clean up. And we'll see how that goes. Um, friendly. Ask for help cleaning. And here is Connor. He's like, you guys ate without me. And he's uncomfortably wet. Let's have him go ahead and change into his PJs and see how that goes. And maybe he can try to connect with um, his new brother. Or They're not married yet, so I guess they're not really brothers yet. So this is the part of the night where things are going to start to get really interesting because everyone needs to kind of use the restroom and shower and all of that. And there's only one. So... I'm honestly not sure what's going to happen. Let's see what Peter needs for um, his job. Oh, he we're going to maybe have to follow him to work one day um, because he has a detective career. And he has to go to a crime scene and go on patrol. So we might have to actually go to work with him. It looks like Vanessa is in bed. Um, Tony is getting cleaned up for bed. Let's have him apply some facial cleanser and then he can come get in the bed. Poor little Connor is just up here napping, it looks like. But did he even eat dinner? I don't even think he ate dinner. So he's going to come eat after everyone else is gone. And then the young girls are in bed as well. But this one needs to go to the bathroom. So... While it's empty, uh-oh, there goes Brandy. Let's check this one. She's fine. Um, it looks like this one's not going to be able to go to the bathroom because Brandy is in there now. Um, so we might just have to wait for that. She has... Oh, she wants to become friends with Brandy. We could do that. Uh oh she walked in on her. And, um, okay, well, after she goes to the restroom, she can go back to sleep. Let's check on the baby Sean. Brandy needs to go find out what's wrong. Probably needs fed. And then she can try to maybe take another bath. <clears throat> She's not the neatest sim. She's actually a slob, I think. Um, yeah, so she's not, which is ironic, because she's a slob and, um, domestic, but she may just not really care to clean the toilet right now, and that's okay, but we'll have her take a quick shower after she takes care of the baby, and then get in the bed as well, and we will see everyone back in the morning, um, we'll put this on auto lights, um, so everyone's lights go off for the evening, and um, tomorrow is Easter, and then Monday we will be having a birthday. Lots of birthdays going to be happening. So it's 5 a.m. on Sunday, but poor little Connor here has learned that if you're going to get the bathroom in this house, you have to wake up very early. 
So he is up very, very early and he's going to um, take care of himself and try to get a hot shower. Um, he's also probably going to clean up the bathroom a little bit since no one else seems to be doing it. And I have a feeling he is not very into these new um, people living in his home. Uh, it doesn't look like he has a good relationship with anybody, really. He does really like Evie Delgado, which is interesting because um, she's someone we do play as well. So maybe we could have them be friends. Um, as well as Hallie Presley. They are both people that we um, play with. And he, he does still have a decent relationship with his brothers. So maybe today he's going to um, ask them to come over. We also need to think about doing a wedding for Peter and Brandy. Um, we might do a little wedding today, actually. So I'll see how that goes. All right, everyone else in the house is starting to wake up. So um, it is egg day, um, Easter, whatever you want to call it. We're going to have the kids search for some eggs around the house this morning. Um, who's in the bathroom right now? We've got, okay, I forgot her name already, Vanessa. She actually come back in and put on some facial cleanser. Um, I think that you might benefit from that. And while you have the bathroom, that might be a good idea. Um, Brandy and Peter are just like sleeping in. So it looks like the kids are all on their own. And maybe Vanessa will be the one that makes breakfast for everyone this morning. Since they're not getting up. And it looks like uh, Tony could use a shower. So let's have him run and jump in here while he has a minute. Um, the girls are just sitting in here playing, which is so cute. And poor little Connor is going to go check on his brother. I think that woke Brandy up. Yep. So she is going to feed the baby and take care of him. Maybe Connor can come outside. Are these trash plants? Oh my god, these are trash plants. <sighs> Maybe he can come outside and search for some eggs. Um, around and about. We've also got lemon trees. Maybe he can come clean up these trash plants. Can he get rid of these? Okay. And then... I wonder if they can use that or if it's, I'm not sure. Um, Vanessa made breakfast, looks like. Um, let's see, Tony, he was able to get in the shower, so that's good. I think he needs a hairstyle. I'm going to fix that. So, I forgot Peter had to work today. Um, he works until 5. So, I guess they're not going to be having a wedding today. Um, he's also feeling a little lost. And there's like so many chores that need to be done around this house. <laughs> Poor Tony is like, I'm just, I'm not, I'm just going to hang out here. I gave him some, ha some hair. So, he's doing better in that department. Um, the girls are eating. And Brandy's taking care of... Sean, um, I think that Brandy may be going to ask the children to clean up around the house because she does not really like to do it. So let's see if we can ask her. Um, and she's ovulating, but I don't think she can even get pregnant because there's too many people that live here. So, that's fine. Okay, let's ask her to clean. And she's like, okay, I guess I will. Well, she agreed. That was nice. Um, The kids, oh, I said they needed to go collect for eggs. So, um, let's see if they can go look over here at this playground. Can they hunt for eggs here? I don't know if they can or not, actually. It doesn't look like it. No. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, I wonder who lives there. 
I'm not sure. So, I know they can look for eggs in the cabinets. Oh, he's already looked there. Let's have some of the girls look for eggs so we can get them going. And maybe Brandy will bake something for the kids. She may bake some brownies. I mean, I think that might be something she does. What's wrong with this baby? Um, let's have her go hop in the shower. And, like I said, these kids need to just get out of the house and go do something. So, oh, he could go hunt for an egg there. And I'm still not sure where they're going to get married. I looked around for a couple places and I couldn't really find much. So, I'm not sure what's going to happen. <clears throat> um, What is going on? Claim, throw that away. Um... Oh, why did she stop baking? Continue making that, please. This, yeah, the baby is not having it. Um, at all. Uh-oh, we need to pay the bills. Alright. Let's, um, send the kids out to play again. Who is this little girl? I'm not sure. But look, there's lots of kids over here, so they need to come play. And get out of the house. So let's send them over here. You can come say hello to everybody. That would be great. Look at this girl, she's cute. Oh, that's Harper Pancakes. Oh, the Pancakes kids. You definitely should say hi to them. And you should too. And Connor, you should too. So yeah, we'll get the kids out here playing and meeting some friends. I think that's good. Alright, back at the house. Oh, what was that? I missed the text message from Bo. Alright. Oh, she's in here cleaning. Because I asked her to clean. Oh, he was doing debate. Maybe he wants to join the debate team. Oh, he is on the football team. Okay, so he needs to practice football. So let's grab him one of those. And that can be something that he does. I love that for him. I need to see um, who can he practice with. Of course. Does he have any friends? <gasps> There's the flower bunny. Um. Oh, what if he... Okay, invite your grandpa over. And maybe you and your grandpa can play football together. And maybe... Brandy is going to call. Why are you going through the trash? Do we have... Let's make a club for her family. And we can have them come back over. I always like to do this. Let's add... Um... Bo and Dustin. Oh my lord, what are you wearing, Dustin? And Connor. And they can be interested in being friendly with each other, with everyone. So let's have them come over as well. We'll just have the whole dang family over. Um, ask him about his day and then ask him if he wants to play football with you. Perfect. Kids need to come home and meet the Easter Bunny. Um, so y'all go home. And meet this Flower Bunny guy. 
That would be perfect. Um, go meet the flower bunny. Oh, she's in here just trying to fix this. Brandy's probably telling her, fix it, fix it. What did you do to the toilet? <laughs> um, and then let's see if Dustin and Bo have arrived yet. Brandy can come pay the bills. Okay, it looks like there's Dustin. These guys are out here playing football. Oh, that's so cute. <clears throat> oh. Are these two going to be hit hitting it off? Oh, Dustin comes in to fix. Thanks, buddy. Maybe she can ask, get to know him, and maybe they can be friends. It would be awkward if they became more than that, but you never know. Did she, she never finished these brownies. Oh, our power is shut off. Okay. I thought she paid the bills. Is it, maybe she can't get to it. Um... Everybody's hanging out in the bathroom. What is going on? Tony's like, can I please get in the bath? And is she not able to reach the mailbox? Yeah, I think that's what the problem is. Okay, yeah. All right, well, we'll put it right here. Maybe that will work. Now she can go pay the bills. Um, these guys are all on top of each other. They can... Oh, she can barely even talk to him because he is famous now. Power's back on. Thank goodness. So, everybody's just kind of hanging out and getting to know each other. It would be cool if they could play a board game. But hopefully that will come with a new update. Tony has taken up the bathroom. Can you get out and try to fix the toilet again? And Brandy is going to bake some brownies for everybody. So like I said, I don't know where they're going to get married. Mm, but I feel like we need to f do it quickly. Um, so I'm going to look around some more and get back to you. But right now everybody's just kind of here hanging out. So Peter's back home. Vanessa is losing her crap because she's so tired of all these people being in the house. Um, she hates all these people being here. She's not into it. And <clears throat> I think she honestly, yeah, she's just not into it. So what I'm going to have her do is probably, um, no, not go to the laundromat. Let's see. Um, let's have her go to read and meet a book group so she's like i just have to get out of this house um peter's home and i think what i'm gonna do is have him have them get married um downtown um in in the city um because that's where dustin's moving to so maybe they'll go visit dustin and they'll all go, they'll get married there um when we play, like, maybe, I don't know. We'll figure it out. But we'll have them get married there. Um, and so Tony's out for a jog because he wants to get fit to be on the football team. And <clears throat> I'm going to have, like I said, I need her to go to the book club. Read and meet a book group. Um, who's going to be, um, in the book group? Let's see. Um, maybe Colton's in the book group? She doesn't really know a whole lot of people. But she could get to know Colton. That could be interesting. And Marie, um, the kids were out here working on their projects. And... Dustin is still here, but I think I'm going to send them home because it is getting late and they need to work on um, getting 
kids taken care of. Poor Peter, he's trying to inherit a deal with some parenting issues. This house is just mass chaos, and everyone needs to do something, apparently. So, Brandy is going to put away this, clean out the fridge, move the laundry to the dryer, get that going. And then we also need to take care of poor little Sean. Looks like she's trying to, but it's not really working. 